There is nothing like a home-cooked meal, and right here in the heart of Hollywood at Grub, Chef Betty Frazier is gonna whip up something you're gonna love. Hey, hey, hey thank Betty! Thank you for coming, welcome to Grub. Oh, it's so good to see you. I think it would be really fun. We're testing some new recipes out at the restaurant, and one of them that's really popular is an apple cheese crumble. What we're gonna start with is the crumble crust goes on the top and the bottom. So we have brown sugar, flour, rolled oats, salt, baking soda, and butter. That's the crumble portion of it. For the cheese part, which I've already mixed for us, it's cream cheese, vanilla, egg, and sugar. That's a sweet list of ingredients. We then sprayed the pan so the apple crumble wouldn't stick. And it will pull right out, which is nice. Wow, you're very good. Would you like a job? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna make you a real chef. Okay. You have to put gloves on. <laughs> We're gonna get down and dirty with these ingredients. So we have the dry ingredients, which is the brown sugar. And how much sugar? Half cup. Half a cup of sugar. And you wanna pack that because a brown sugar, whenever it's measured, it's always packed. Okay. And then we have flour, one cup of all-purpose flour, and then one cup of rolled oats. And then uh, the salt and baking soda. The baking soda is going to help it rise. Then what you wanna do is you wanna get in there and mix the dry ingredients so they're well incorporated. Then what I do with the butter, you want it semi-soft because we want it to like really get into the crevices. And I just cut off little pieces. Don't melt this though, guys, because it will do quite the opposite. It'll be too runny. Come on, let's get in there right. with our hands. Yeah. And you want to get the butter worked into the flour and the sugar. You just want to get them well mixed so that every, every little particle in here has got a little bit of butter on it. And then what we want to do is we want to keep half of this because half is going to be the top. Okay. So basically we're going to spread it out first. You just really want a, a, a thin layer. And what will happen is it will actually rise a bit because of the baking soda like a cookie. And that is it. You're going to mm. preheat your oven to 350 and then you're going to put this in for about 15 minutes. That's it, 15 That's minutes. That's it for this part of it. And then what it will come out like is this. We then removed our gloves and Betty poured the wet ingredients on top of the apple crumble base. Then we peeled and diced up two green apples. Oh, wow, you're voila. fast! Voila, voila. You're fast. So you can use fresh apples, you can use banana. I actually really like the idea of roasted banana in this. Oh, yum. And then uh, with the honey and with the sweeteners too. With this, I'm going to use on two apples probably about an eighth of a cup of honey. And I like cinnamon, so I'm going to put about a tablespoon. Then I mix that. So why don't you taste it to see if you like the level of sugar and uh, cinnamon. Mmm, that's good. Yeah. I could eat those just like that. What a great snack. Yeah. See, we have two desserts in one. Then we're just going to kind of just place this. You're just going to want to spread it around, you know, so every bite would have an apple. Think about it that way. Okay, and then again, really simple. Just take that remaining other half of the crumble mix and just kind of sprinkle it over the top. And you kind of, again, get, get all the crevices. All right, so we have that there, and that is it. I'm gonna put that into the oven. If it looks like it's getting a little bit brown around the edges, you can turn it down, but also halfway through cooking, I always, always rotate the dish because ovens are often calibrated differently depending on where in your oven, um, like if this is near the hotter pot, this is gonna cook faster. After 40 minutes in the oven, Betty added the finishing touch, a dash of powdered sugar. Mmm, Betty, that is delicious. <laughs> Good. If you are in the LA area and you're looking for some great grub, come on down to Grub LA and meet Betty Frazier, chef extraordinaire. <laughs> and you can learn more details about this recipe at athomewithddr.com.